Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy AG back again with another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm being a dickhead. But you know what? That first episode, it did things to me. Not gonna lie. I felt I felt a little tingle. I don't know I don't know what to call it, but I felt it in the back of my neck. And I was like, let me get another taste. Let me get another episode. Let me inject that into me real quick. Pause. Pause. Like, yeah, it felt like that, you know, that first episode was, I don't know, people were saying it was filler or whatever the fuck. There was a lot going on. Not going on, but, you know, established characters. It gave me a setting. It foreshadowed a lot of things that I just don't quite understand yet. I'm not gonna hold you. Same thing with, like, how the powers work. But even though, like, you know, the more I'm starting to think about it, it kind of makes sense. Especially with how they were demonstrating the Freezer Alchemist, I think they was called. And, like, isn't alchemy just like trying to use one thing or stuff many things to make another thing? I remember reading a while ago, like they were like alchemy is like something from like, you know, way like middle ages type shit. And they were like I think using that to like either make shit into gold is what I'm remembering. I think it was like either lead or like other kind of like materials in that like, you know, realm to like make shit into gold and other like valuables and shit i don't really know how much that shit really took off i do remember like learning that like i think it was one of the offshoots of chemistry well not the offshoots of chemistry one of the things that led into chemistry because i, I do know that like it was mostly used for like what i said before and medicines don't quote me on that but i feel like that was the case but like seeing how they kind of turned that into like a power system is like you know they're using shit to make fire, using water to make more water or ice or make water explode with various degrees of fucking insanity. There's a lot going on in the show. And it's like, I would like them to like really like explain it a little bit more with me. So I'm hopefully the second episode is really going to reel it back a little bit. Be like, here, buddy, all these questions that you have, let's, let's, let's give you a few answers. Because there's a thing with the brothers and one brother is dead. But the soul is there. One brother got no arm, but he got a robot arm. It's, it looks like this thing takes place in the past, but he got a robot arm. It beats the fuck out of me, dog. <laughs> but like, so far I'm really enjoying a lot of these characters. I, I just wanted the show to tell me a little bit more. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So you already know the vibes. Goofy headset must be engaged. Already got my shit on. Let's dive right back into full metal alchemist brotherhood. You dig? Alchemy, the science oh, of understanding, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and reconstructing whoa, 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 brother. However, it is not an all-powerful art. It is impossible to create something out of nothing. If one wishes to obtain something, something of equal value must be given. This is the law of equivalent exchange, the basis of all alchemy. In accordance with this law, there is a taboo among alchemists. Human transmutation is strictly forbidden. For what could equal the value of a human soul? Oh, that's a that kind of gave me goosey goose bumps. I'm skipping this, by the way. But oh, that last question. Wait a minute. Okay, we're back. Brother, hmm? the story about Myers. this priest in New York. You think they're true? The ones about his miracles. They say he can transmute flowers out of thin air, right? Could just be sleight of hand, some cheap trick like that. Hmm. What if it's not? The celestial stone that destroyed the city of Xerxes in one night. Xerxes? The grand elixir, sealed away by the Eastern Sage. It goes by different names, but it's always the same thing. Some kind of object that amplifies alchemy. That's the Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher, philosopher Stone, okay. I might be able to get your body back. I know alchemy has like what, they're not the same, but it's like, understand the micro to understand the macro, which is like understand small details, but learn the bigger picture or some shit. I don't know if I'm making that up, but I think I remember that from reading it somewhere. Alchemy, isn't it? I'm sorry, did we mess up? Oh. No, no, <laughs> it's great. You definitely take after your father. My little geniuses, you make me so proud. And that was it. I'm all right, see, I'm seeing a whole body. I'm seeing both limbs. <sighs> Whatever this story is about to show me, it's not going to end well. Of that same year, an epidemic swept the country. The sickness came. Oh, but you ought to even like waste any time, Jesus Christ. Once dad comes back, everything will Don't even talk about him! Oh. That bastard doesn't care about us. 
He's not our dad. He didn't even come from mom's. Oh view. boy, he's a deadbeat. I understand that. Not just because I'm black. Alright, let's not get into that. <laughs> That using alchemy to make people is something you're not supposed to do ever. That's right. That's why oh, it'll be our secret. The human trans mutant trans mutation. There we go. That's the you word that he was talking about last episode. She says you shouldn't cry for loved ones who've passed away because when you do, it makes them feel sad in the next world, too. Aww. Thanks for dinner. Come on, Ed. Drink your milk. Yeah, drink the milk. Grow big and strong. Spoilers, you don't have a body later on. Short forever. You mean like you, you sawed off old hag? What was that? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Micro -pee -wee. Not micro pee -wee. wait a minute. <laughs> Why'd they do that? Why did this go off on you? Yeah. <laughs> See that in the back. Hold on a minute. The scientists need to be able to make two. So we began searching for the key that would unlock the secrets of human. They didn't expect Stu to be like the equivalent to the transmutation shit for them, but word, inspiration strikes in surprising moments, I guess. It was a constant effort, but we wanted to see Mom smile again. Aww. We wanted to go back to our lives with her the way they used to be. That's what drove us day and night. This is it. Yeah, I'm messing with some wicked shit, man. Ned, something doesn't feel right. You think? That shit oozing the black stuff. What the fuck? Bro, what? Yeah, I would. Whoa, what the fuck? I would never. Fuck alchemy. Al, wait, what was I doing? What is this now? Bro, this show got me fucked up. What is happening? You have dared to knock on the door. Now, the door is open. Bro, he wanted his mama. Not eye and arm things. What? It was like all of the information in the world was being poured into my brain at once. My head felt like it was about to burst. But for an instant, it all became clear. The truth of everything. The truth is mom? Mom is the truth? Hey, give Please, him another look then. He seemed like he got some. Yeah, word. Do that. I've already shown you all I can for the toll we've paid. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the equivalent the thing I'm thinking the thing. The exchange of my thing. So he got the He got like knowledge beyond knowledge is knowledge? For a leg? I'd give up a leg. What the fuck? No. This, this is wrong. This isn't, oh, bro. This isn't what we wanted. Motherfucker's about seven years old. Oh my, and I forgot his brother got dusted like Thanos came in and snapped his ass. And everything's making more sense now. What the fuck? All right, you gonna hit me with the fucking mid card? Full metal alchemist. All right, so they're ten and eleven years old. Jesus. Hey, you're still in Central. 
They put these kids through hell. Oh my god. I asked for this, but I don't want it anymore. Take it back. Take back this fucking flashback. You got that? Easy for you to say. So, how are the Elrics doing? You keeping those boys out of trouble? I'm their commanding officer, not their father. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, their dad's hey, a deadbeat. Tell me Apparently. Boy, why'd you decide to make Ed a state alchemist anyway? He's just a kid. That boy's gonna have to go through hell someday. Bro, I have certainly seen our you clearly don't know. I don't know if this buddy got, he knows too, but he probably does. Cause no, fucking hell. No. Oh, they've seen hell. <laughs> Both of them. I'm saying. Lieutenant Colonel, they're not in back either. What is this? Where are they? Where are the Elric brothers? I want them found. Oh, oh, fucking Went hell. to your house. We saw the floor. What was that? What did you do? Uh, but they're not supposed to. But they're fucking kids. Given that kind of fucking power, and then going through what they went through before all that. No, Dad. Mom is dead. Come on. Oh my god. That is. Oh. I heard reports that there was a brilliant alchemist living in this town, so I came to check them out. The last thing I expected to find was a boy skilled enough to attempt human transmutation. I'd say he's more than qualified to become a state alchemist. It nearly killed them. And you want to throw those boys headlong into it? Would you really have them go through that kind of hell again? <laughs> That's tough. Yes. The thing is, they do need some to live for. And we do know off the last episode that, you know, that is their goal, to get their bodies back. And I guess Roy was the one to, like, pitch that shit to them for real. Nice to meet you. I hate what you soldiers do. Soldiers like you are the reason my mom and dad left during the war, and soldiers are the reason they're dead. Oh my god. Now you... Now you're here to take Ed and Al away, too. <laughs> What's wrong with this show, man? I'm liking that he's lighting this fire under his, his ass for real. And you know, he's the he's the flame alchemist. You saw what I did there? I'm calling back to the first episode. I listen. I understand things. <laughs> Shut up. Because there's someone I have to protect. Is it him? I'm just gonna go off on a woman say it's him. Well, I guess this is Educated on. guess? Mayhaps. I hope we meet again someday. Mm. Will they be coming? They'll come. That boy. The, I've never nah, this score is crazy. That's what you saw? No. There was fire in those eyes. Ooh. How long will the surgery and rehabilitation take? I'd say about three years, more or less. Surgery? I'll do it in one. Who the fuck are you feeling like? You're about 11 years old, buddy. Al, just hang in there a little longer, okay? Then we're gonna get you your body back, I promise. Right. And while we're at it, we'll get yours back, too. Mm. If this show does anything to these brothers, I'm quitting. <laughs> I'm attached and it's only episode two. I like that. I like that a lot. Perfect shape. Yeah, now I just need to try some alchemy. Mm. Brother! Yeah, I'd say that's right on the money. No, it's amazing! Whoa. You didn't even use a transmutation circle. You perform alchemy the same way the teacher does. Oh wait, he didn't even have a circle. I just thought he had like a circle on his glove because we saw a circle on the glove before so or like a tattoo because oh. he saw all the film reels and shit okay and it was only him for real you could try acting more like a girl and less like a gearhead you think i'm a gearhead that's fine but you would better get used to it because as long as you're wearing my auto mill you're stuck with this gearhead whether you like it or not you may proceed with the examination. This Bradley motherfucker gotta be doing something shisty. Something like, I know the guy in the last episode was technically no, the bad okay. guy. I got it. But, like, he was real gung ho about what the fuck he was doing. There's, there's smoke? If there's smoke, there's fire, man. Something going on with the military. That's such a flex. Y'all out here using chalk? I'm out here clapping on these hoes. Ha! I don't like how you don't seem impressed. Oh, so put the Glockies away. Too many to Glockies. In the future, you might want to rethink the way you conduct these examinations. My bad, baby bro. You say, yo, get your security up. <laughs> Not your funny up. Come on. But I'd say you still have much to learn about the world. 
You put on quite a show, my naive young alchemist. Good luck with the rest of your Okay, so he's like that. He's like, 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 like that. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad, Doug. If that does become a state alchemist, does that mean you'll be going away? Yeah. The silver pocket watch is proof of your state These boys got a mission. Shorty, you gotta find your own path too. And if it converges, it converges. Let's let shit happen, man. Why is that? By order of Fuhrer King Bradley, mm -hmm. this document certifies that Edward Elric has been appointed to the post of state alchemist. And Hell yeah. I granted the title of full metal. That's such a tough name. I like that. Mm -hmm. Intimidating. <laughs> I think that'll suit me just fine. You really suits your brother more. He could have called you like the peace medal, the one-handed medal. So that's Lior. Lior. Could really be there, the philosopher's stone. Oh, and you probably learned that from seeing all the, all the fucking details. Okay, I'm seeing what you dropping right now, Full Metal Alchemist. I see you. Huh. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I think I like the show. I think I like the show. It's it's kind of good, man. It's kind of just just kind of good. It's just just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. You're welcome. You know, for digging this up for you, it's what I do. Hold your applause. <laughs> but now, nah, for real, this shit is okay. I'm understanding. I'm really understanding why y'all was so gung ho. This shit has a lot of episodes. I think. I think I looked at like the episode count it was like 40 something I think I don't know but this thing is spinning a narrative already which I'm just like I don't know how to put it it's not about like yo how deep is this gonna go but it's like I feel like this like every time I get an answer like we got some already it's already like posing so many more questions it's like where's dad mom is dead how the fuck dad is still gone like the fuck is that why was Ed the only one that like saw all the extra details? Maybe it's because Al was dead? Technically dead? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Edward also said after he learned I guess everything that the human transmutation it is a taboo and you shouldn't do it because literally we have the prime example with this episode because <laughs> Jesus Christ like even if you get like everything that I guess makes up a human, that's what he was doing with all the the, the sulfur, the phosphorus, this, that, and the third. Get a little blood in there, a little panache of blood, a little panache. Even though you have everything that theoretically makes a person, there's certain things you just can't just pluck out and you know, boom, I got a human, you know. And I guess the philosopher's stone is one of those missing components. Not quite sure what the philosopher's stone is i guess that's something we're gonna learn along the way but i'm guessing that's where like he learned when you'll see and everything's like all right this is still doable like he said that right off the jump this is still doable but i don't think that's what he's gunning for he said that as a kid what he's gunning for right now is just to get the bodies back so if human transmutation is doable getting their bodies back you know it seems like a step down it seems like it's totally doable you know instead of like bringing a human back to life and shit but man uh I didn't, I didn't expect that out of this show, like, all that was fucking gruesome, <laughs> like, I, I don't know what I was really expecting, especially after watching the first episode, I knew it was like, you know, there was some, like, there were some dark moments or whatever, but, <laughs> that backstory is kind of crazy, but yeah, like, the biggest thing I have right now is really what's up with Papa, because it's like, like I said, like, mom is dead, you had two whole ass kids, the mom was definitely was uh, saying like at the beginning that like you know they like you know they're geniuses like like their dad I'm pretty sure she said that so maybe he's a state alchemist too but he's just like out in the field I'm not too sure and like you know uh Roy got a, the heads up that there was like you know smart alchemists or genius alchemists that's why he came in the first place to see them so it's like maybe like there's more team that meets the eye with papa <laughs> like where's dad and like it's literally been like mad fucking years, so yeah, I'm I'm really in wonder I'm really wondering if it is like gonna sidestep that because you know anime like of course dad's not around, but or like you know there's like a bigger picture there. Mm, I, I don't know, man. It definitely seems like we gotta lead with the whole philosopher's stone thing. So like next episode's probably gonna 
step into that tidbit because they was talking about this whole Lior place and I think they started the episode talking about I think there was like a priest or some shit. So we we I feel like the the, the show is gonna slowly start. This might be a slow burn uh, story, and I'm kind of down. Like we wanted something to pick up after a, Attack on Titan. This is feeling like it. I'm feel I'm getting good tingles off this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get good tingles because I'm getting good tingles. So you already know the vibes. Drink plenty of water until you love one statue low and most importantly stay golden. I'm gonna spark up another episode. Don't don't say shit. I'm not addicted. You're addicted. Shut up. You're ugly. I'm lying. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Alright, let me not do that. I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you look right above me, you can see two of my previous videos. So if you feel like supporting your boy, feel free to check them out. It's okay. Take your time. I'll just be right here when you're ready to watch them.